This chapter is intended to provide the minimum configuration to start your motor using the LCD keypad. Danger. Unintended equipment operation. Before turning the drive on or on exiting the configuration menus, check that the inputs assigned to the run command are deactivated at state zero, since they can cause the motor to start immediately. Failure to follow these instructions will result in death or serious injury. Please consult the Altavar 212 programming manual available online at www.schneiderelectric.com for additional information and instruction. The LCD keypad provides a larger display with English text. These are the part numbers you will need to order the LCD keypad and its components. VW3A1101, the LCD keypad module. VW3A1105, a female-to-female -female RJ45 adapter and a VW3A1104R10, a 1-meter cable with two RJ45 connectors. Attach the female-to-female -female adapter to the back of the keypad, making sure the connection snaps firmly in place. Plug one end of the RJ45 cable into the female-to-female -female adapter. Before performing the next steps, ensure no power is applied to the drive. Open the front cover of the ATV212. Plug the other end of the cable into the ATV212's RJ45 port, making sure it seats firmly. Close the cover and lock the unit. Power on the ATV212. In a few seconds, the LCD will cycle through several screens until it displays the drive menu. The drive is shipped from the factory configured for operation at 50 Hz incoming power. We will change the minimum number of parameters needed to start the drive and motor. These parameters are related to the motor you have connected. Having the following data from the motor nameplate readily available will allow you to configure these parameters in just a few minutes. Motor rated current, also called full load amps. Motor rated voltage and motor thermal protection setting. Often this is the same value as the motor rated current. We will configure the drive for operation at 60 Hz. Press the escape button on the LCD keypad to reach the programming menu. Turning the rotary dial, scroll down the menu to locate TYP, the parameter reset. With TYP highlighted, press the center of the rotary dial to enter your selection. Turn the dial until 2 is displayed, then press Enter to save your choice. This sets specific parameters to values suitable for 60 Hz incoming frequency. The drive will reset and return to the drive menu. For more information, see the table on pages 166 and 167 of the Altavar 212 programming manual for a list of parameters that are affected by this reset action and the resultant values. Now press Escape to access the programming menu. Next, we will configure the motor thermal protection. Navigate down to THR, Motor Thermal Protection. Press Enter. Use the wheel to navigate to the correct value equal to your motor thermal protection setting. This value will be set in amps. Press ENT to save your setting. The screen returns to the programming menu. Next, we will configure the motor rated voltage. Navigate down to ULU, motor rated voltage, and press enter. Use the wheel to navigate to the correct value equal to your nominal motor voltage on your motor nameplate. Press enter to save your setting. Now we will configure the low speed setting labeled LL, low limit frequency. Navigate down to LL and press Enter. Adjust the frequency value. The factory setting for this device is 0 Hz. The recommendation is to set this value to 5 or 10 Hz so that the run command will cause the motor to rotate at a minimum speed. Press Enter. You can set this to another value for your application. Next, we will configure the motor rated current. This parameter is found in the F or Extended menu. Navigate down to F415, Motor Rated Current.
press Enter. Use the wheel to navigate to the correct value equal to your nominal motor current from the motor nameplate. This value will be set in amps. Press Enter to confirm your selection, returning to the extended menu. Press Escape three times to access the operational value menu. The operational value displays operating parameters of the drive, such as speed. Congratulations, you have configured your drive. Perform any necessary checks.